Good morning, my friends, the best community ever. Uh, that's right. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing great, my friends. Doing great. Uh, that's right. It's another beautiful day. 52 degrees, nice and cloudy. Yes, it's amazing. Couple things. That's right. So we had the Let's Play 3. Let's Play Part 3, rather, is up and for your viewing pleasure. It's there. It's doing its thing. With the Jedi Knight on Coruscant. So we are halfway through, and let's play part four. We'll finish off the Coruscant storyline. So uh, I, when I originally you know, came up with this concept to do it, and you guys really wanted to do it, I was thinking, okay, I'll probably do a let's play once a month. But it's kind of turned out like a let's play part, you know, the let's plays are coming out once a week, which I'm totally okay with. It gives me something to do. <laughs> Especially when there's not, there's not a giant news cycle. It might not. Although we will be doing a forum, SOTOR forum news tonight. That's correct. And I might also be plugging in that uh, Anthem video I've been uh, sitting on my thumbs <laughs> about. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows is going to happen? It's okay. So I was going to stream, funny story, was going to stream, but then I realized, oh, I've got a family dinner on Saturday night. Oh, I'm going to get home late, so that's not going to happen. But then, you know, when I did that whole streaming gig, for about a year, I was only using, I used this software, Twitch apps, Twitch apps, Twitch alerts, Twitch alerts, no, yes, what, yes, yes, that's what it was called, and now it's like, you know, stream labs, and then stream labs going into OBS, and I'm like, okay, now I gotta figure out this software, and how this all works, so that's a thing, all there, and then I have to figure uh, something else out, I'm getting ready to upgrade the studio itself, uh, to uh, help out with streaming, to help out with other things, and just, you know, uh, upgrade, just, you know, to, uh, to bring out better content for you guys. And there will be a way to participate in this um, once I get everything set up. Okay, so let's talk about, oop, I see a flashy white light. That means there's a ambulance or a cop somewhere, or it's just the construction crew with all their pretty lights. Don't be trouble now. Okay, mood to see over everyone. We're all good. Um, spoilers, right? So they get apparently. I I honestly have not watched Game of Thrones since season one. I own season one. Where is it? I can't even tell you where I have it. I haven't bought DVDs in like forever because I've got Netflix and Hulu and uh, Amazon Prime. I don't need to buy. Like, where are we in the age right now? Oh, they're working on stuff. That's why the light's doing it. Oh, because they're all doing it. Oh, look at that. Because all, you know, those, if you, you know, you live in civilization, and I don't know how it is in Europe or whatnot, but at our traffic lights, you have a little strobe type light that the sirens on emergency vehicles are able to trigger so people know what's going on. It can make the lights turn green or, or what have you. And this one, all four lights were doing it. I'm like, oh crap, what's going on? Are they coming from all ends? What? Anyway, so Game of Thrones. Uh, there's not going to be any spoilers because I didn't watch it uh, last night. And I have not watched since season one. I mean, I saw like the Red Wedding and uh, bits and pieces here and there outside of watching the battle scene from uh, a couple of weeks ago. You know, the one where apparently no one could see, but I, but I, I saw it just fine. Uh, and I gave my commentary on that on the Let's Play and how, you know, the, the tactically, from a tactical perspective, strategic perspective, how the army was lined up uh, was it was just dumb. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, here's my thing. Like, this is my thing on spoilers. Not even just Game of Thrones, SOTOR, anything on spoilers. Welcome to the internet. Welcome to social media. There are going to be spoilers and I, you know, this might rub some people the wrong way, and I like rubbing people the right way. That's pretty, you know, I like to do that. Uh, but my, here's my thing. It's like, you're on social media with millions and millions, quadrillions of other people. Things are going to happen. Spoilers will happen. I would suggest, if it were myself, you know, I don't, me personally, I don't mind spoilers because a spoiler is just... Uh, hearsay until I actually see what it is they're actually talking about. 
So it can be a spoiler for SOTOR, and although, to be honest, being an influencer content creator for SOTOR and working with BioWare on this stuff, I get spoiled a lot, but that's my own thing. So <laughs> I can't, you know, and there's a lot of things that I, I find out just the same time you guys do, because they're pretty tight-lipped when it comes to story, especially story. But if I were, if I, if I cared about spoilers, because I don't typically care about spoilers, because, you know, I feel like you can say, you know, Captain Dan died, and I'm like, what? That's the big spoiler, but I'm like, okay, he died, but how did he die? I need, I still need to watch it. It's not going to actually ruin it for me at all. Um, you know, I need to see it with my own eyes. Um, I'm just not, you know, you know, he died. Okay, cool, but how? What were the circumstances? What's going on? I need to see that. So to me, it would still be just as fresh uh, as if I had not heard about Captain Dan dying. And that's just, you know, a hypothetical right there. So, you know, if I cared about that stuff, I would just, I don't know, pause social media for until I have I have seen what it is I need to see. But, you know, it's a, we live in such a 24-7 news cycle society that, you know, that has its ups and downs. One up, hey, we get to learn things. Downside, sometimes they just need to hold off on a story so we can learn all the things. And then the other downside, if you want to call it that, is spoilers are going to happen. Spoiler, and I don't think, I, I honestly believe the people who put um, spoilers out there on the social medias aren't doing it in malice or aren't doing it in spite of people. Uh, I think they just do it because they're stupidly excited. They need to vent. They need to air it out and talk to people about it. That's all it is. I mean, yeah, you're going to have the, you know, the douche canoes out there who's like, hey, I'm going to spoil this thing for everyone. Uh, but, hey, if you have 32 followers, are you really spoiling anything for anyone? No. Uh, but, hey, with all that said, I still, you know, I have tact. So if I learn something, say Games of Throny or... Or if I know something that is not NDA uh, that I experienced, and I know it's going to be a major spoiler, um, either A, well, if it's news related, we're going to talk about it, but A, I'll warn you, there's going to be spoilers. Or two, um, I just won't talk about it until the event or whatnot happened. That's just being kind. But at the same time, with that said, you, sometimes you just cannot avoid it unless you actually unplug and I think that's the best thing for to do because I think sometimes when you know I see people all the time like demanding people not to talk about it, I'm like you 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 know you can't do that, right? <laughs> that's not how that works. You can ask politely, but you you're you know if someone's going to talk about something, they're going to talk about it. That's just what it's going to be. So you either have that nifty little mute button, which I'm afraid if I mute someone, I'll just forget that I muted them, and then I'll be stuck in the quandary of where did that person go for five years? Oh, you've been muted. Oh, oh crap. I have like 30 DMs from you. Uh-oh. Can't explain that one. Oh, Twitter wasn't working. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but yeah, you know, just stay off it. But yeah, I don't think we, I don't think we can expect and demand that people just shut their pie holes. Uh, it's, yeah, this is not, that, in my, in my opinion, that's just not how that works. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, but apparently, I don't know what happened last night. I guess some people were happy, some people weren't happy. You know, life, that's how that works. But who cares, whatever. We got SOTOR, we have Anthem, we have other games coming out. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And of course, you know, the Boogeyman. There's more stuff about it. Shady Project Red is working their people to death. And uh, I've been reading, you know, I've read the articles, and I've read some re response stuff from people who have worked in the industry going, yeah. That's just how it is. And here's my thing. That is how it is. That is true. Is that a good thing? Probably not. People have families and like to go to them. But sometimes there's, you know, there's that double-edged sword. A catch-22, right? It's like, hey, you know, you could just work eight hours a day. But, you know, the timeline hasn't changed at all. So, you know, you get done what you need to get done. But just letting you know. So, you know, there's that obligation. It's like, oh, man, I don't want everyone else to stay and I'm going to stay too. Now, should it be unionized? Eh, I mean, there's really only like one union I actually like, and that's UPS. Because <laughs> you don't hear them for boo, and they're actually really good. They're a really good union. Should it be unionized? Well, yeah, probably. Uh, but I believe first that the companies should uh, uh, change some practices and, and stuff. But hey, you're also stuck with that catch-22, because we, the people who consume their product, 
Uh, guess what? We're also to blame. That's right. We are also to blame. I should just do like a regular video. Did I just kill a squirrel? No, we're good. Um, it's like, what? Did I just kill a squirrel? Work? Squirrel? 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 Uh, but no, yeah, we are partially to blame. We are the consumer. We are because we eat content like a mother and a father. No, we just eat content like crazy, don't we? And we sometimes demand these games to be here and now. And the companies know that. And they know that we have little patience at all when it comes to things being late. Now, yes, the company you know, sometimes needs to be careful when it teases things. Uh, like, I think CD Projekt Red is doing it correctly. They're just like, hey, it'll come out when it comes out. Uh, which I think is the correct way to doing it. Uh, and some other, you know, other, other companies do that as well. But, you know, it's not just the company. Yes, they have the biggest, largest part to play in all this. But, you know, they also know that they got to get product out. Um, or our uh, short attention span will uh, go that of the dodo bird and we will go to something else that is readily available to us. So, uh, I mean, it, it's it's a human condition thing too. <laughs> it's not just a greedy capitalist pig. Nah. Uh, but yeah, we consume content like crazy. That's the biggest um, hurdle in MMO world, right? They They punch out all this content and all this stuff and we eat it up within a day. Within a week, within a month, we're done with it. We are done with the entire expansion. We have eaten up all the things. Uh, oh, hey, they're working on stuff. But, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think we need to, you know, everyone needs to take a seat, a step back, and just take a deep breath. And I, I honestly believe it'll figure itself out with all the attention it's been getting. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, this is going long. I need to get going. My friends, have a good one. I love you. You're great. Looking forward to doing more videos for you tonight. Who, who knows? I might do a surprise test stream uh, sometime this week just to make sure everything is working. <sighs> what? Okay. Yeah. So, guys, have a good one. Remember to be kind. It's about community. And, uh, uh, yeah, just, you know, eat your games slowly. Uh, is that the thing? I'm going to go. Love you guys. Bye.